Hey guys, this is Sreek and today I am presenting a video, a video called How to make a digital cloud pro in a website. It shows the present day, present day, month, present year, present seconds in a website. I am using a software called Adobe Dreamweaver. As well as you can use any other software like Brackets, uh, Dreamweaver and uh, Sublime Text etc etc. So let's get into work. Before that, if you like this video, please like, share and comment. Thank you guys and all the best. Watch it guys. Hey guys, welcome back. So let's get started. So I'm going to show the digital crop pro in the website. See, this is the digital crop pro in the website. So let's get started. Uh, I'm using the Dream Weaver. Go to Dream Weaver. Then go to more and HTML. HTML5. Because HTML5 is the latest version, then let's click on create. Then save it, save it on the respective folder. Control plus S. Then this PC. Then I'll go to this door and go to save it up. Sorry, data. Website. Project. Digital. Clock. Then click finder. Then click on it. Then the rename this as index.html index.html then click on save then you need this you need, uh, even you need uh, CSS style so click on new, new CSS create then save it on same folder so uh, of style.css <coughs> sorry save then you need, even you need javascript js so file new javascript create so, then save it on the same respective folder as you see all right script.js then save it on so let's get started to go to the htm at all backspace so first of all type ht Then give the title uh, name as page title. I'm giving the uh, you can give anything 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 type of uh, title because I'm giving a page title in a digital prop pro. So we can enter. Then close the head. Then close. Then open the body. Body. Let's save it, control presses, save it. So go to the desktop where it is. This is the one, open it, and then you will see here these all the types. Then go to the index.html. See, you got the page title as page title. So again, go to Dreamweaver. So you need because you need, uh, even you need to. Uh, link the style and uh, JavaScript in the in HTML. So there is a uh, shortcut called link. So let's get started. There is a shortcut also. Click on enter. Then click left uh, right click. Then go to CSS styles. Then uh, up, uh, dash style sheet. After this opening, click on browse. Then click on style CSS, then click on S. Then again, OK. See, you have got the style.css, the link. Yeah. Same as here. So after that, getting the link here, just close it off. Then, control plus S, save it. Again, even you need the JavaScript to link it there. So you have only two, you need to link there. So click here. So scrape, yes, <coughs> yes sorry script type uh, giving the text type so src browsing and it is linked to the style so the script then ok then close it then close the script then control s then go to here 
front of the stairs. Okay, see here, here are the three, three, uh, three, uh, two. So, close this, this time and JavaScript. So, Good luck. Oh, okay. Then let's get started. So, then after linking this, then go to the body. I'm giving the body ID as a uh, body. You can give any other any other name. Then, then I'm giving the form form ID as all. You can use any type, any name. Then I am then ID I'm giving as test. Then close the div again. Div ID I'm giving as TDD um, something. Then close the form. After that, after that I'm giving a paragraph. Another, another tutorial I'm using here. Awesome. Awesome CDSS. So, close this. XXL as a class name. Password. So, I'm the XXL class. Okay, let's then control press and save it. Let's check it out. Then refresh to this. See, we have got this one. So to make like this one, you need to find style sheet. To do style sheet, so let it do style. So first of all, um, you should do the body as body background color. I'm giving as uh, gray. Then close it on. Control pluses. Then again, uh, I gave test this uh, this I uh, you need to call there so test um,
giving us Con refresh, sí. This is the one how to get the octa shadows in the down. It's cool, right? Okay, then. then go to the source code. Then, which I call, ah, oh, here it is the B1. So, you can enter hash B1 bracket text align. I'm going to get a center. So, let's give weight, weight bolded. Close it down. You can't turn it. Let's take it out. Refresh it. Okay. Yeah, you got in bolding color. I guess the number for all this one. Okay, let's then let's take a go to the source code. Next, I called as B1. Then uh, go to that TT. Uh, TT I forgot to call. TT. Now I'm going to do white then text align I'm giving it as center then padding I'm giving it as 5 pixel then border uh, border I'm giving as 2 pixel then light blue sky light sky blue sky sky blue we can enter and go to the font family as serif then border radius border radius as 30 pixel okay save it on check it out click on refresh see we saw the changes then again to the source code then all call the form id all to the stretch it click enter hash Just fading five pixel. Then again border as five pixel. Solid light blue. Light sky blue. Light sky blue. Then font family as serif. Then border radius. We have 30 pixel. Click on enter, then close it. Let's check it out. Click on refresh. C. 
see the see the line over here so next again go to the source code after everything call it body over um, then we need to call the excel password assistant pro so and uh, no dash just call it password history became in bold in color so next after this creating you need to create a time like this so you need a javascript so go to the javascript so first of all okay let's get started window sorry window on load on load on load equal to function function close it then open it i'm giving as yes, alert as you open it it gives the alert alert message this is alert message so yeah. hey this is Presenting you the digital clock. Digital clock. You should call the function. So function print time function print time close to open. Then I'm giving as variable variable d equal to new date semicolon. Then again I'm giving as variable hours equal to d dot get d or get hours then again variable minutes d dot get minutes sorry minutes again variable seconds this month no 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 let's use date right d dot date then variable no month d dot get and month then again variable year d dot get year so sorry get year then after this get here get here get here after this and opening switch case switch case statement switch day get one 
equal to as Monday. Then do as break. Is two. Day I'm giving as Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. So I forgot to add Sunday. So again, it has zero. Day equal to as Sunday. Click on break. So here is the seven days in a week. After that, close it. Going um, if shell statement. I'm going to if statement. Sorry, if I was greater than 10, then I was, I was equal to 0 plus I was then again if statement if minutes. Plus, 
space plus minus comma space plus month plus dot then again plus yeah so close it and then okay, we need to go hold time out set time out print time print and comma one then again set interval sorry interval sorry sorry interval prime print time comma thousand that's it and then close it so say let's check it out refresh this this is the alert message I told you before. This is triggered as presenting the user flock in any website. See, you got it. You got it. So, if you like this video, please like, share, and comment. Thank you, guys.